you to Nickelodeon. Um, thank you to Dan Schneider. Dan, we love you. Thank you so much, dude. Thank you, Nickelodeon. Thank you, Dan Schneider. It's hard to put into words what Dan has done for all of us. I want to thank Nickelodeon and Dan Schneider. He's the guy behind some of the greatest shows on Nickelodeon. His name is Dan Schneider. Nickelodeon, long regarded as a cornerstone in children's television and entertainment, finds itself embroiled in a profound crisis. This turmoil has been catalyzed by revelations linked to Sam Puckett, a character from the network's programming. Initially celebrated as a child star, Drake Bell, the actor behind the character, has shed light on a deeply troubling and intensely personal issue he faced at the vulnerable age of 15. The unfolding situation not only tarnishes the reputation of a beloved network, but also raises questions about the well-being and safeguarding of young talent within the entertainment industry. As the spotlight intensifies on these distressing disclosures, Nickelodeon confronts a pivotal moment in its history, grappling with the fallout and implications of this distressing revelation. He is courageously sharing his narrative through an upcoming television series titled Quiet on Set The Dark Side of Kids TV Set to premiere on March 17th and 18th. Produced by Maxine Productions and Sony Pictures Television, with backing from Business Insider, Quiet Onset delves into the detrimental effects present in children's TV shows, especially those created by Dan Schneider during the late 90s and early 2000s. Directed by Mary Robertson and Emma Schwartz, the series aims to shed light on the complexities and challenges faced by young actors in the industry, while also raising awareness about the need for greater accountability and safeguards within children's TV shows. This documentary series aims to uncover the troubling experiences behind the scenes of popular children's programs, featuring exclusive interviews with former child stars and crew members who worked on Dan Schneider's series. Quiet Onset brings forth stories from individuals who are speaking publicly for the first time, offering a rare glimpse into their experiences. Inspired by an investigative report by Business Insider's Kate Taylor in August 2022, which highlighted the alleged toxic environment on set, this effort seeks to illuminate the hidden challenges faced by young actors and production staff within the realm of children's television. Through candid accounts and revelations, the series endeavors to foster a deeper understanding of the complexities and consequences of unchecked power dynamics and mistreatment within the industry, ultimately advocating for systemic change and greater accountability. Laying the groundwork for quiet onset, this investigative wave gained momentum following Jeanette McCurdy's revelations about her distressing experiences at Nickelodeon, detailed in her best-selling memoir, I'm Glad My Mom Died. McCurdy, who portrayed the tough yet endearing Sam Puckett on iCarly and its spin-off Sam Cat earned critical acclaim and a loyal fan base, significantly contributing to the success of iCarly as one of Nickelodeon's flagship series. Beyond her memorable role, McCurdy has showcased her talent across various other projects and ventured into podcasting with her show, Empty Inside. Transitioning from in front of the camera to behind it as a writer and director marks a significant evolution in her career, receiving positive feedback from industry professionals. Despite not receiving major awards for her acting, her shift towards creative roles has demonstrated her broad range of talents and garnered respect. Her personal story, fraught with the challenges of navigating child stardom, serves as a poignant reminder of the complexities and pressures faced by young actors in the entertainment industry. MC Curdy's discussion of the challenging working environment fostered by Dan Schneider and the broader issues within Nickelodeon contributes significantly to the ongoing dialogue about systemic problems in Hollywood, particularly regarding young actors. Through her memoir and public conversations, McCurdy not only shares her personal struggles and successes, but also emphasizes the urgent need for increased awareness and reform within the entertainment industry. The once celebrated legacy of Dan Schneider, synonymous with Nickelodeon's golden era, is now under intense scrutiny due to disturbing allegations of abuse, sexism, racism, and inappropriate behavior towards underage cast and crew members. The revelations regarding the troubling culture behind the scenes at Nickelodeon, despite the nostalgia many hold for shows like The Amanda Show, Zoe 101, and Victorious, have prompted a critical re-evaluation of the content produced under Dan Schneider's supervision. A 2022 investigation by Business Insider shed light on first-hand accounts from individuals closely associated with Schneider, describing an environment that was, at times, uncomfortable and inappropriate. Allegations include gender discrimination, the sexualization of young stars, and a general atmosphere that many found to be hostile and demeaning. Schneider's departure from Nickelodeon in 2018 marked the end of his direct involvement with the network. However, it did little to assuage the growing concerns surrounding his conduct and the impact of his creative decisions on the young actors involved. 
Despite defenses of Schneider's work by Nickelodeon executives, who claim thorough scrutiny and approval of all projects, the allegations have cast a long shadow over his career achievements. In her best-selling memoir, I'm Glad My Mom Died McCurdy provides a detailed account of her experiences with Nickelodeon. Portraying the tough yet endearing character Sam Puckett on iCarly and its spin-off Sam Cat. McCurdy earned critical acclaim and a loyal fan base, significantly contributing to the success of iCarly as one of Nickelodeon's flagship series. Beyond her iconic role, McCurdy has showcased her talent across various other projects and ventured into podcasting with her show Empty Inside. McCurdy's transition from being in front of the camera to behind it as a writer and director signifies a significant evolution in her career. Despite not receiving major awards for her acting, her shift towards creative roles has earned positive feedback from industry professionals, demonstrating her broad range of talents and garnering respect. Her personal story, fraught with the challenges of navigating child stardom and a complicated relationship with her mother, forms a critical component of her identity. It has also sparked discussions around the mental health and well-being of child actors in Hollywood, shedding light on the complexities and pressures they face in the entertainment industry. In her memoir, McCurdy also delves into her early career in the entertainment industry, highlighting the disparities in treatment she faced from Nickelodeon, particularly in comparison to her Sam Cat co-star, Ariana Grande. McCurdy shares how the network imposed restrictions on her, preventing her from pursuing other opportunities a limitation not imposed on Grande. This unequal treatment led to a significant strain on McCurdy's well-being and aspirations. The core of McCurdy's acting career, as she reveals, was not driven by her own ambitions but rather was a path chosen by her mother, Deborah. This decision was made early in her life, with McCurdy auditioning from the age of six under her mother's guidance. However, her mother exhibited manipulative tendencies whenever McCurdy faced rejection, adding another layer of complexity to McCurdy's narrative. These familial pressures underscore the intricacies of McCurdy's journey in the entertainment industry, shedding light on the challenges she faced beyond the spotlight and emphasizing the importance of understanding the dynamics within the industry. In Hollywood, there is hope that through documentaries such as Quiet Ones, The Dark Side of Kids TV, and the voices of victims like Jeanette McCurdy coming forward, strides can be made towards creating a future that is safer, more secure, and more trustworthy. These narratives shed light on the darker aspects of the entertainment industry, particularly concerning the treatment of young actors, and emphasize the importance of addressing systemic issues to ensure a healthier environment for all involved. Thank you for watching. Make sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel. We'll catch you in the next one. Until then, take care.